All right, now that we got our characters in our scene, let's start um, seeing if we can make it a little bit more interesting by having them interact a little bit. So we're gonna learn a bit about block coding now, and um, we're gonna highlight probably mostly events, maybe some control, maybe some motion, and maybe some looks. So for example, events are when you want something to happen. So you can see right here, there's three options for, I'm actually not going to use this one because you can see right now I am coding for the trees. It's the blue one that's highlighted, but I'm gonna code for my elf right here. This is the person that I want to code for. So I'm gonna choose these three things here. So if I um, press play, something will automatically happen on start. If I press play and then click an actor, um, then something will happen. Or if I press play and click the up arrow, something else will happen. So I'm going to get my character to maybe say something. So I'm going to go to looks down here and um, scroll down right here. And you can see that there's some speech things. So uh, I'm going to get my character to say hello for two seconds on the start. So that means when I press the play button, there it is. The speech button will say hello. It's hard to read, but you can see that it's there. If I go like this, I can try it again. And you can see there it is. And um, that's the start of it. So that's when I press start. I want my character to do something also when I click my character. So I can see right here, I'm going to set up maybe a, a bubble. I can even change that shape of that bubble to something a little bit different, maybe a rounded one. And I'm also going to get my character to say um, maybe something like, how are you today for two seconds? And then now when I press play here, I'll make it full screen again. And I press play, that's on start, we'll say hello. And then if I click my character, now she'll say something different. How are you today? And if I press stop and back to there, I can continue coding for more. So maybe instead of having that first character do something, I'm gonna delete that one. And I'm going to code something for my second elf right here. So that one was um, when I click an up arrow, I will want my character to do something. This character, I'm gonna see if I can try and get her to move and say something when I click the up arrow. So I'm gonna go down here to motion. And now you can have your characters move, but then that will just kind of like make them appear somewhere else. It'll just go like poof. So if I want my character to actually kind of look like it's animated. I like this one better that says glide. So I'm going to get my, especially with ice, it's a good one, but I'm going to get my character to glide. Now you can see on my stage, there's numbers that come up when I have my mouse moving. So I want my character right here, excuse me, to glide to the edge of the iceberg. So I'm going to move my mouse right here and I'm going to see what this number is there's an easy one 181 minus 181 and minus 70 and i can put that right into here minus 181 and i can put minus 70 and that will create my character to glide to that spot when i press the up arrow again i have to press the play button and then if i press the up arrow now you can see that character will slide over there. Maybe it's a little bit too much because she looks like her foot's gonna go. So I might need to correct that in a little bit. But anyway, I succeeded in having my character move a little bit here for me. So I want my character not to move quite as far over and a little bit further up. So if I want it to come back a little bit, you can see the higher number moves it back this way and uh, lower number will move it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna change this to maybe um, minus 200. And this one maybe to about minus 50, let's say, or even 40. We'll see where that brings me right here. And if I press play again and press the up arrow, that's a little bit better. Her foot stays on the iceberg and I like it. So I do see that I'll have to make my penguin go behind my character right here too. So I'm gonna do that as well by clicking the penguin, the arrange, and I'm just gonna move the penguin back a little bit, right, like that. So now I've got my character moving. We can click that character again. 
Um, and I also want the character to say something. So I will come over here and go to looks. I will go to the speech bubble. And I am going to set that speech bubble to maybe an oval this time. And then I'm also going to get my character to say something back. Like, I am good today. And now when I press the play button, you can see this character will move and to say something like that so and the penguins in the back so we have some success there and now it's your turn see if you can get your characters to move on the screen or in and or possibly even say something to each other so give it a try see if you can do some some animations with that and uh, come back for the next video